final race oh, week eight is the Brit Fingers Enters Chase, three miles, five furlongs. Matador, Martin Leiden, Dress Green, James Shea, Penelope Pitstop, Martin Leiden, Tunisian, Matt Cooper, Ironical Howell, Pontypool Racing, Tayside Tiger, Matt Cooper, Shelley Thinking, Nollywood, Fustelia, and the Classic Chan, Alex Cherry, and the Invictus Rings. Derek Inton, 10 winners M. Derek Inton is on 7 of 3 length, 3 winners clear of the centre's table. And there's an have to get going, Matt Cooper and Jim Shea back on 4. There's a couple of trainers on 3. They jump in that one, and they all jumped it safely, but still yeah. Just about leading from on the inside, uh, Ironical Howald dropping into an anti chase for the first time. T side Tiger, Lincoln's Pedagogy Pit Stop, Matador, Tunisia, Dressed Grain, Grand D's, Shirley Finkin, Invictus Reigns, the stable mate towards the rear, and Classic Chance. They jump in the next fence and they all jumped it safely. And we're letting them settle on down now. And Postelia is about a length and a half clear of Shirley Finkin in second. Matador is now in second. She is, is on the inside in third. In between them is Dress Green. And then Penelope Pit Stop. They jumped in that one. The mistake it was by the other leading moles that one that time. And that was, was Matador. And his little Penelope Pit Stop jumped in second. We've been restrained back into the field again. So the next possibly that leads by two length, but uh, a good jump again. Apparently, but stop jumping well at the moment. And it's gaining ground again. He's on the inside, the dress green. Outside of these is tie side tiger, and on the inside on the rails is the grey old Shirley Vinkin. They jump in that one. And that time, the little ironic or how I've made a mistake and was passed by the classic chance. Then Matador made a mistake earlier on and he has his two behind him in Tunisia and he licked his reins. Up in the next one and then jump in that one. When they lost out in the jumping stakes there was Dress Green on 4th to 5th. The leader is Postilio who's jumping well out in front to get towards the next fence. The ditch, he jumped it again well. And again the James Shea trained. Dress Green again jumped slowly and lost another place now. Edna wants next and Postilia. It's three lengths clear of Taisei Tiger. The end is in third is Shiloh Finkin, I are Arnico Howard, who won the Midland National last season. The day after the festival, the Cheltenham finished. And Postilia. Three to four ends clear, Tayside Tiger in second. Sure they're thinking if we'd done Penelope be pissed off and we lost the front one in Castilla then. He'd been jumping well all round but he made one slight mistake and the jockey was quite easily unshifted. There and Tayside Tiger has been left in front now by a length from Invictus Reigns in second. He was right, he was at the back of the field earlier. He's big good ground, Pilate he stops there on the inside. And Dress Green is mid ground after those earlier mistakes. Matadors again back into it after that mistake early on. They're passing the lollipop, two thick is in front of them to run. In Tayside Tiger. By half a length from in second place, Dress Green who jumped better. But the best jump was done by Matador and he now leads by about half length from Dress Green in second. Invictus Reigns in for it, Teesside Tiger and Shirley Finkin, Classic Chance, Ironic Howell, Tunisia and Penelope Pit Stop is now on the back marker. A smart door leads by about a left and a half and Shirley Finkin in second. Invictus Reigns is still on the outside in the centre of the three. The tracking leader in third and on the outside in fourth is Ironic Howell. They jump in that one and a jump. So their claim came from classic chance. They go towards the next. Matador being pressed all the time by Invictus Reigns. They got a loose horse in front of them and that horse may have made them 
they got in the way there on Matador. I may have shift, we may not been able to see the paint and he's got rid of the jockey. It could be the loose horse there that caused that problem for Matador and Matt Newton's charge who's now gone. And that's left Invictus Reign by two lengths from his second place T side Tiger. But then he can show thinking and classic chance and interest going. And on the other side of the room, I go, how old are that paid to Nizia? And apparently, we took this up a mile quarter of the one, so still well on the circuit. Still a long way to go, and cars to be played, and there, a real hit on that fence is Invictus Reign. He hit it hard. He went from second right back to fifth. But he still has a chance. That's a well grouped field, really. Are they towards what will be the last next time round and Taysai Tiger leads by a bottle length and half and classic chance in second. Dress green on the outside in third, they jump in this. The grey horse in fourth and the other grey horse left running on show think up. Behind him still will make Invictus Reigns. Behind these comes Tunisia and then Penalty the pit stop and a couple lengths away. Oh I go hold on the back marker. Maybe the distance is too short for that one. As Taysai Tiger leads by an length half and classic chance in second. They swing into towards the cross fence now to head out on the far side. And Taysai Tiger leads by an length and half, jumped it from classic chance in second. In third is Tunisia classic drain, tri, sorry, dress green and then comparing dress green is sure thinking. A gap then to Penelope picks up in Richter's reins. Um, it's trying to pick up in between two horses there, on the, but he has to find a gap. And I all go out, it's now picking up on the outside. So he's out of bunch up and they head towards the five mark in Tayside Tiger. Tunisia now is stable, right? It was that. The way the field early on is coming to full to put on the challenge in second. Behind East can classic chance and show thinking. Behind show thinking, dress green on the outside, I want to call Howard. And now the pit stop and the victor's range is another bad marker, they jump in that one and they got Taysai Tiger in the lead, he's heading towards the free marker, he's going to swing right under, they only got two left to jump, one on the side and one in the street and Taysai Tiger chased by stable mate Tunisia, two lengths back in through his classic chunk canal, leads to stop and dress green and I on to the howl, are on the inside and they sure thinking the victor's range on the outside of the bad marker, they jump in the second last, They've only got one left to jump on Tayside Tigers, two lengths clear. Tunisia giving chase in second, a classic chance coming through now into second. And he looks like the danger to the front running Tayside Tiger. Classic chance on your left way, they're coming down towards the final fence. Tayside Tiger pressed by classic chance, they come to you, be on the jump. As they come towards it, Tayside Tiger inside, on the other side, classic chance, jumps the best. Got up, going on by half level, he's going to hold that all the way to the line. A win for Alex Cherry. And classic chance up for Alex. On to four. And he joined a couple on that score. Just classic chance to win it for Alex Cherry then. Last race of the day. Tayside like Tiger Mark Cooper at second. Dress green back in third for James Shea. I was sure thinking on the Martin Lee Dread penalty.